What is underwater welding? Underwater welding is a specialized skill that involves joining two pieces of metal underwater. It's a challenging and dangerous job that requires extensive training, experience, and knowledge of welding techniques, equipment, and safety measures. Underwater welders work in various industries, including oil and gas, shipbuilding, bridge construction, and salvage operations. They play a crucial role in maintaining and repairing structures that are submerged in water, such as pipelines, offshore platforms, ships, and dams. In this video, we'll dive into the depths of underwater welding and explore the techniques, rod properties, safety measures, and salary insights that every aspiring underwater welder should know. How Underwater Welding Works Underwater welding is a complex process that involves the use of specialized equipment and techniques. The basic principle behind underwater welding is similar to that of regular welding, which involves the fusion of two metal surfaces using heat and pressure. However, underwater welding requires additional measures to ensure safety and effectiveness. The first step in underwater welding is to create a dry environment around the area to be welded. This is achieved by using a cofferdam or a habitat, which is essentially a sealed enclosure that allows the welder to work in a dry environment. Once the dry environment is established, the welder can begin the actual welding process. Underwater welding can be performed using two main techniques, wet welding and dry welding. Wet welding involves welding directly in the water, while dry welding involves welding in a dry environment created by a habitat or coffer dam. Wet welding is generally faster and more cost-effective, but it can be more difficult to achieve high-quality welds due to the presence of water. To perform underwater welding, the welder uses an electrode holder to hold the welding rod in place. The welding rod is then struck against the metal surface to be welded, creating an arc that generates intense heat. The heat melts the metal surfaces, which are then fused together as the welding rod is moved along the joint. One of the biggest challenges of underwater welding is maintaining a stable arc. The presence of water can cause the arc to become unstable, leading to poor quality welds. To overcome this challenge, underwater welders use specialized electrodes that are designed to maintain a stable arc even in the presence of water. Overall, underwater welding is a highly specialized field that requires extensive training and experience. By understanding how underwater welding works, you can gain a better appreciation for the skills and expertise required to perform this challenging and rewarding job. Properties of Underwater Welding Rods When it comes to underwater welding, the type of welding rod used is crucial. The properties of the welding rod determine how well it will perform in the underwater environment. One important property to consider is the coating on the welding rod. The coating serves as a shield to protect the weld from water and other contaminants. It also helps to stabilize the arc and improve the quality of the weld. Some common coatings include cellulose, rudeal, and basic. Another factor to consider is the diameter of the welding rod. Thicker rods are typically used for deeper dives or when working with thicker materials. Thinner rods are better suited for shallower dives or when working with thinner materials. The composition of the welding rod is also important. Different metals have different properties, so the type of metal used in the rod can affect the strength and durability of the weld. Common metals used in underwater welding rods include steel, nickel, and copper. Lastly, the length of the welding rod should be considered. Longer rods are more efficient for deep dives, while shorter rods are better for shallow dives. It's important to choose the right length of rod for the specific job at hand. Overall, understanding the properties of underwater welding rods is essential for achieving high-quality welds in the challenging underwater environment. Safety Requirements for Underwater Welding Underwater welding is a highly specialized and risky profession that requires strict adherence to safety protocols. Before diving into the depths, it's crucial to understand the safety requirements for underwater welding. First and foremost, all underwater welders must be certified and trained in the proper techniques and safety procedures. This includes completing a rigorous training program that covers both theoretical and practical aspects of underwater welding. Additionally, all equipment used for underwater welding must be regularly inspected and maintained to ensure it is in good working condition. This includes everything from the welding machine to the diving gear and safety equipment. Underwater welders must also be aware of the potential hazards they may encounter while working underwater. These can include strong currents, low visibility, and dangerous marine life. As such, it's important to have a thorough understanding of the dive site and to always work with a team of experienced professionals. 
Finally, all underwater welders must follow strict safety protocols when working with electricity and welding equipment. This includes wearing appropriate protective gear, using insulated tools, and ensuring that all electrical connections are properly grounded. By following these safety requirements, underwater welders can minimize the risks associated with their profession and ensure that they are able to complete their work safely and efficiently. Underwater Welder Salary One important aspect to consider when pursuing a career in underwater welding is the potential salary. The salary for an underwater welder can vary depending on several factors such as experience, location, and industry. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for commercial divers, which includes underwater welders, was $54,750 in May 2020. However, it's important to note that this figure can range from around $31,000 to over $100,000 per year. Experience plays a significant role in determining an underwater welder's salary. Entry-level positions typically offer lower salaries, while experienced professionals with several years of experience can earn significantly more. Additionally, the location of the job can also impact salary. Underwater welders working in coastal areas or near offshore oil rigs may earn more than those working inland. Lastly, the industry in which an underwater welder works can also affect their salary. For example, those working in the oil and gas industry tend to earn higher salaries compared to those working in ship repair or construction. Overall, while the salary for an underwater welder can vary greatly, it's important to consider all of these factors when evaluating potential job opportunities.